Well, today's the big day, folks. Where was this girl years ago when I really could have used her? We have a real live professional dating and relationship expert. Now, I'm no longer dating. I am very happily married, which counts as a relationship. I guess I could take a tweak every once in a while myself. I look forward to hearing what she has to say. Mm -hmm. She is our next guest, and this is our coach of the day, Paula Grooms. Paula, Hi. welcome aboard. Nice to meet you. And, of course, you, your company is... Paula Grooms Coach or Coach Paula Grooms? Coach Paula Grooms dot com. Dot com. Coach Paula Grooms dot com. A relationship. So what makes one a relationship expert? Well, that's an interesting question because it's been kind of a lifetime of my coming to this and mm -hmm. writing this book. I know. We're going to get into right. this book. Right. Yes. But so, you were an expert before you wrote the book. Well, no. <laughs> not I mean, really. Well, okay. Not, in some ways, no. I, you know, I'm a licensed social worker. Okay. So that helps sure because I work with people about, you know, what what is it in life? It's all about relationships, whether it's work you know, uh, a friend's family or, mm -hmm. you know, that special person, spouse, right. hopefully. Well, hopefully. For they, women. But for, for women, well, men. And I, men, too. I have a spouse. How long have you been married? I've been married for 10 years. 10. Uh, Wonderful. Personal record. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pam. Love you. Uh, so yes. let, let's get back to this book. Yes. May, may I see Absolutely. This? Dave was zooming in on this. Look at this book. What a great name. Why won't he commit? How a man decides to make you the one. The one. So mm -hmm. this is written for women, but guys Absolutely. can probably pick up something on this. We mm -hmm. always try to figure out how y'all are thinking. Y'all have got books. We got nothing. You got instruction manuals. We're out there uh -huh. winging it. I know. That's so true, though. We're out there winging it. So how, okay, so it's how you can get him to want to commit. Wait, what is it? A, a woman decides to make you the one. To make you the one. Because a man has to make a decision in order to commit. So it's really not love at first sight like we always hear, there's a decision? <laughs> it, it, there can be, okay. sure, but that has to morph into him making a decision to make the commitment. Because men live via their decisions. Women live via their emotions. Or their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, guys are emotional too, but I, absolutely, I hear, I hear mm -hmm, what you're saying mm -hmm. on that, but a lot of times the guy decides he's going to make the decision, that's as much on him as it is to, on her. I mean, he's, he's, is he ready to make the decision? Not for, for anyone. Maybe not, is he ready to make the decision for this person mm -hmm. here in front of him? Well, it, and that's, in general. that's very, very true. Yeah. And what it is, is that the, the woman has to be, uh, has to understand that you're absolutely right. A man has to be ready, willing, and able to commit mm -hmm. from a certain criteria that I have in my book. And without that, he's just going to be a consumer for you. Okay, can we peek behind the curtain here? Is there are a couple of little mm -hmm. bullet point tidbits that that men or women, particularly women, can get from this book? Yes. To look for? Well, it's that it's he can love you to death. And you can feel that love, you can be experiencing that love, but if he is not in the state of being a buyer, mm -hmm. which I outline the criteria, and there's a test any woman can go and take on someone she's dating to classify him or categorize him, scale him on where he is on being in the state of being a consumer mm -hmm. or a buyer. Because she can waste her time yeah. on a consumer because consumers are not bad men. No. They're just men being men. But if you're looking for a buyer, you don't want a consumer. There you go. Oh, okay. Are there ways where the woman could help the guy to tip the scale to go from one to the other? All right. Come on. Come on. Give us a little, <laughs> I know it's in the book. Give, me, give yes. me a little something. Yes. Well, what it is is that men love through wondering. See, women love through knowing. We want to know everything oh. about you and everything about the relationship okay. and where we are and how it's going and is it going to move forward, right? He loves in a completely different fashion. He loves through wondering, wondering about you, wondering, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so you're always better off wondering because when you finally get there, maybe not what well, you are wondering. There are strategies and approaches if a woman is at a particular time in a relationship, and there are these kind of milestones. And I work with women in a coaching program okay. to help them understand where the man is and what she needs to do if she knows that she wants to be with him well, in a committed relationship. You know, just to break it down, I'm going to oversimplify because that's what guys do. Yes. Let's be honest. There's two things that are going to happen in a relationship. Right, three if you want to count okay. dying. But we're well, going to say there's two things going to happen. One, you break up, or two, you get married. That's it. 
That's true. That's the only two. That's the only this two is, outcomes. This is true. Or one of you kills the other one, but I don't want to go there. But either you're going to get married or you're going to break up. Absolutely true. That, that's right. Yeah. And so if, but the woman really can lead it. On, I call it my GPS, my groom positioning system. Whoa, the groom <laughs> positioning system. This just gets yes, better. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you have to know as the woman where you want to take this, mm -hmm. right? And you have to give it a certain amount of time. You know, you have to set your GPS, and then you have to follow the signs, right? What happens is <laughs> rerouting, rerouting. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes, but women tend to set the GPS, and then they go off course. And in a coaching program, I help them stay on course because, as you probably know, being male, yes. that men are best in marriage. I cannot argue that at all. Right. I was married. I was divorced, which meant I was single for a while, and I'm married again. I'm so much better off being married. Being, I, I'm that guy. Right. Absolutely. I totally, totally agree with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's yeah. so true. It's so true. And so I'm all about marriage because actually both people are happier and better in marriage because you as a guy, you need, whether it's work, whether it's your advocation, whatever, you mm -hmm. need a purpose. Yep. You need a focus and a purpose. I can't argue. <laughs> right? Coach Paula Grooms, everybody, she, she's telling me things about me that I thought I knew, but actually some things I did know, but now she just made me know that I was right That's about right. those things. That's right. Now, going back to the whole GPS system, let's be yes. honest. GPS system is important because we all know the guys aren't going to ask for directions. That's what we do, you know. Oh, I like that. I'm going to so, use that. This could be in the second book. I like this. This could be in the second book. I like book. this. I'm going to use that because guys don't like to ask for directions. <laughs> well, we that's don't. great. So that's why it's we need a GPS true. system. Or maybe we need somebody in our life with a GPS system. There you go. The, the, and that's what it is. And that's why I work with women because I call it my mechanics of a relationship. And what this is with a real car, a woman just likes to get in it, it looks good, it's mm -hmm. attractive, it feels comfortable. She turns the key and it works. She doesn't need to know about it, about the engine, how the parts fit together and okay. all about that stuff, right? Right. With a man, with a, with a car, you like to know how it works. Sure. Right? Yeah. You like to know, if you can, you'd get under it and get all greasy and oily and look up at it and understand it and talk about it with your guy friends, right? Yeah. Well, in relationships, it's opposite, right? Interesting. That a woman knows. We know about it. We understand it. A woman gets frustrated with her man because he doesn't understand it. But it's like the guy. You wouldn't get frustrated with your wife if you said, honey, it's the carburetor. You know, you need to fix the carburetor. Right. She would, like, look at you like, with, like, you know, you've got three heads, right? <laughs> I get that look a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Sadly. And it's the same for us. You know, we, we, what happens is most women want to get their guy under the metaphorical car and talk to him about it, making him look up and understand it and conceptualize it and fix it. And that's not what you're about. You want to do that with the real car. Well, but one or, both, one or both of us, male or female, is going to want to test drive the car before they buy it. That's a tricky point. What happens for most women, quite frankly, is they go on long, long, long trips with yeah. a guy where he has no intention of, you know, buying this particular relationship. Right? Correct. He just has no intention of it. <laughs> he just likes to travel. <laughs> He's, but, but, but to your point, back to what you're saying earlier, he has no interest in becoming a consumer. A, a buyer. I, I mean a buyer, right. He wants to just be a consumer. He wants to be a consumer. And, and it doesn't mean he doesn't love the woman because men do not commit out of love alone. Mm -hmm. They don't. So, so is it okay, and golly, I can't believe we're running out of time, but is it okay as long as the guy is honest and is up front saying, look, this is all I want. I just want you to know from the get-go, this is it. And if the woman reads more into that, that's on her. That's, and that's a, a lot of women. It's unfortunate because what happens is the woman connotes, but wait a minute, he's saying that, but I'm feeling the love, right? But and you're, that's you're, you're where they get. you're feeling it here. You're not feeling it here. Well, they are feeling it here because even but, though. But it ain't there. You're putting it there. It's not the guy putting it there. <laughs> That's true. But yeah. again, you're just not, you're not making that decision, but doesn't mean you don't love her. All right, folks, listen up. That's Coach Paula Grooms. She's got a podcast. She's got a book. And she does a lot of coaching herself as well. So thank you. This is good stuff. I, I know so some, some ladies that could use this book. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's I want to have pleasure. you back on here. I've got more questions okay. for you. But that's it today, folks. Coach Paula Grooms and her book here on All In. Check them all out. Take care.